we just arrived over in Halbert. Um, got in just a little bit early. They're setting up the uh, Game & Watch Museum as we speak. And there's a freaking vendor floor over here, so let's check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna have to cut in right here because as you can probably tell, this footage is kind of old. It's about a year ago this was taken. So it's the right time to tell you that next Sunday, on the 6th of October, there's actually gonna be another Haltered Retro Gaming Convention. I'm gonna be there too, all day I got my own little booth there. And yeah, lots of other collectors are heading over there. They're gonna set up, they're gonna sell off their stuff, their doubles, because it was actually quite fun. Take a look at the footage. Just met up with Kuna over here. Apparently, he sometimes watches the show. Sometimes. Sometimes. And he just popped over with a Turtles game for the Commodore. Now, this is one of the disc systems. Um, I did not yet have this yet, so yeah. I don't know nothing um, about it also. So, uh, yeah, but I mean, it has Turtles on it, so uh, I need to get it. Obvious, it's <laughs> uh, for you. <laughs> oh, I can just have it? Or how much were you asking on it? No, nothing. Oh. You can just have it. Awesome. Free. <laughs> Sweet. Um, now I just need to find a Commodore, but let, let's see if we can find a Commodore. I don't know. I don't think so, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll add in some gameplay. It should be good. <laughs> <laughs> I only had two hours of sleep, so that's why I sound like a seal that's been swimming all night. <laughs> that's why, yeah. Uh, we, <laughs> we should have some drinks then. <laughs> that's why. That's why. <laughs> Nobody cares. Keep telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> okay. hey, thank you, Val. Now, even though I'm really tired over in this footage, I do really want to thank Coon for handing over this little floppy disk for the Commodore 64. Turtles won! Freaking awesome! Thank you so much, buddy! Okay, first purchase of the day. I'm gonna get Turok Rage Wars for 5 euros from uh, this friendly dude that already gave me a free Turtles game. <laughs> so yeah, um, Turok is one of the uh, series on the N64 that does first-person shooters. Um, I think they have four games that I didn't know this one was out too because you have one true tree on there didn't have this one so so what's that about a turtle game you found <laughs> that's not turtles <laughs> It. <laughs> Already hitting the beer? Yeah. Hard. They say hitting uh, the beer hard. Yeah, you, they say you should drink the stuff you quit. Drink in the night before. Yeah, hair of the dog. Hair of the hair dog. Of the dog. It's hair. not going in that easily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you buy anything yet? No, no. Yeah. I'm here like five minutes. Uh, already right. ran into rinse up, so. It's almost Halloween, so I have to pick up an Halloween game. Maybe you can make a video. <laughs> Halloween video? About Dr. Frankenstein. You know, Renzo's, Renzo is pretty right about this Dr. Franken. It's almost Halloween. That means that we do need to make another Halloween video. Dr. Franken actually looks pretty cool. A really nice cover. Is the game great? I don't know. Maybe there's other games that are better to do a Halloween episode about. If you know one, leave it down in the comments below, please. Now we're gonna get into something I really liked as a kid, and it starts over with cars. Car commercials, to be exact, yeah. Back in the 90s, when I was a little kid, uh, we used to watch the commercials, and they'd have, like, dummies 
testing out the car for when they have like a crash and you can see the airbags popping they would have these test dummies in there and they actually turned that that stuff into a cartoon and a freaking toy line so over at super gabby games i take a look i see one of these toys still in the box and i'm like 25 euros that looks pretty good i, I, I kind of want to add that to the collection something i want It has been opened, but uh, it's been resealed or something. It's already been opened, but uh, yeah, this is something I'm looking for. Uh, it's a cool toy line based on the Crash Dummies. It's the Incredible Crash Dummies! Whoa! Some days this job's hard to face. Now the Crash Dummies have a crash test center where Slick, Spin, and all the dummies face the ultimate test. Nice body slam! There's even a place to crunch your crash car. You guys really cracked me up. Don't you be a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. And leave the crash into us. The incredible Crash Dummies. Crash Test Center comes with everything shown. You put it together. 25. Let's see if we can work something out on that price tag. But it is nice. I don't have anything boxed by Crash Dummies. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to try picking it up. So we're basically trying to find another item to bundle it up with so we can get a better price. But I'm not seeing anything. Uh, can't really find anything else, Jack. No problem. So, um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to start low. Would you do 15 on it? Meet, meet me at the outside. Halfway? Want to do 20? All right. That's fine by me. That's awesome. Me, fine for you. That's yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. There you go. Thank you. Thanks, man. <laughs> so I got the Crash Cycle boxed. Freaking awesome. Freaking, freaking awesome. Oh yeah. Well, it's kind of open. Kind of open, but uh, freaking awesome. Love the colors. So 90s. I, I, I had a couple of toys like this as a kid, and I couldn't help myself from buying this over at Super Gabby Games. So thanks again, Jack, for hooking me up with this one. Alright, so we're checking out Kuhn's boot over here. He uh, brought some pretty cool SNES titles. Uh, a lot of them are repros though, but uh, at least he's telling us when it's a repro or not. Um, I'm looking at a couple things, like this Batman Returns in the box, which has like a little uh, thingy that has Batman in it. That's pretty neat, but it's missing the manual. And I'm kind of tight on money because we have a lot of shoots coming up. So I'll pass on that. However, there's a Pocky and Rocky 2 over here. As you know, pretty cool Capcom game. No, it's not Capcom. It's Ocean. Keep on rolling. All right. And uh, Pop and Twin B. So this is one of uh, Ree's favorite games. It's a shooter, a cute em up from, from is it from Capcom so uh, all games are Capcom today pretty much um, yeah this was 15 this one's 65 let's see if he is gonna take the haggle I don't know I, I can't really go too low when I'm already when I already have a game that's 15 so I think 10 might be might be doable to take off so um, Kuhn I got two games here. Uh, comes out to 80. Would you be able to do 70 for two? Yeah. All right. Cool. Awesome. Nice. Two cool SNES games for the collection. There you go, man. Definitely will. Thank you. <laughs> so in the end, it was great over here at Halter. Lots of smaller stands. Lots of different stands with uh, just collectors trying to get rid of their doubles so they really allowed for lots of variation over here um, in, in what was in what you were able to buy over here uh, can't wait till next weekend that's when it's going down the 6th of October next Sunday I'll be there make sure you're there too so yeah see you guys next week see you later bye